What is up, professionals? Professionals. What is up, people? Or nine people, if you don't. Anyway, I'm going to be making an adult beverage pickle. You're going to need some salt. You're going to need some mustard seeds. You're going to need black pepper, some cucumbers, and uh, some vinegar. And a beverage of your choice. Uh, let that be tequila, vodka, or gin. And uh, let's get into this. Oh, you can't forget the dill weed. Apologies, dill weed. You can use fresh or uh, what's it called? Uh, dry. But that is all you're going to need for this simple, tasty beverage. All right. First thing we want to do is get a cup and you can use white distilled vinegar. We're just going to pour in one cup. And then we're going to do a cup of water. All right. We'll put in a spoon full of salt. It's about good. And then we're going to let this boil for about 15 minutes. So while we're letting that boil, the next thing we want to do is prepare our jar for the uh, mix of ingredients. So we'll start off with some uh, mustard seeds. Don't need too much. Some black peppercorns. Throw in some uh, fresh dill for this one. You could use dry dill, but then I would suggest you use a sifter or something to get the dill out. Ooh, this dill's been in there for a minute. It's not uh, as fresh. For this one, I'm going to use some peppers. So... We got some Thai peppers, and then we also have some jalapeno peppers. So I'm just gonna use one of each. This is such a small batch. Uh, actually, I'll use two Thai peppers. I'll rinse these off real quick and throw them in there. Next, we got our garlic. You don't need too much. I'd say maybe two or three cloves is all you really need. All right, we got our two or three cloves of garlic, toss that in there. And finally, our cucumbers. Uh, I like to use the smaller cucumbers and I've been told that the ones with the little bumps on them are the ones you wanna go to. But you know, if you can't find those, then the mini cucumbers will do. So I'll probably grab I think two might be good, but we'll see if we can fit three in there. I'll rinse these off and get the chopping.
could probably fit one more. So I was able to fit four cucumbers in there. Now we're waiting for our brine to uh, finish boiling. But in the meantime, we're going to put in what makes this beverage so special. I'll probably only fill it up a third of the way. All right. And that is about a third. Now we'll just wait for our brine to uh, finish cooking. And we'll let it cool down for about five minutes before putting it in there. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so our uh, <clears throat> brine has finally cooled down and we're just gonna fill it to the brim. It gets all the way to the top. I'll put our lid on. Seal it nice and tight. And then we're just gonna shake it up a little bit. And that's it. Now, I like to store mine for two weeks in a dark place and we'll see how this tastes in two weeks from now. All right. Let's give the pickle a taste. You can definitely taste the alcohol. These are not crunchy, which is disappointing. I feel like I should have used more vinegar and salt. But the, uh, whatever that is, pretty tasty. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, you can put this on a Bloody Mary. We're going to set this to the side because I also made some sweet pickles. Bam. So um, for this one, I followed the regular uh, recipe for regular pickles. But I added a spoonful of sugar and like a tablespoon of uh, honey. And I also added cinnamon. And there's also some peppers in this. So it's going to be like spicy but sweet. Let's give it a try. That is different. <laughs> it's still tasty. You can definitely taste the cinnamon. And it's not crunchy yet, but I think for this one, I didn't use enough uh, vinegar and salt. So that's why they're not crunchy, but they're still pretty tasty. And there you have it.